The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 3b. We'll begin with yellow substances that have fallen upon this earth. We'll see whether our data of them have a higher approximation to realness than have the dogmas of those who deny their existence, that is, as products from somewhere external to this earth. In mere impressionism we take our stand. We have no positive tests nor standards. Realism in art. Realism in science. They pass away. In 1859, the thing to do was to accept Darwinism. Now many biologists are revolting and trying to conceive of something else. The thing to do was to accept it in its day, but Darwinism of course was never proved. The fittest survive. What is meant by the fittest? Not the strongest, not the cleverest. Weakness and stupidity everywhere survive. There is no way of determining fitness except in that a thing does survive. Fitness, then, is only another name for survival. Darwinism, that survivors survive. Although Darwinism, then, seems positively baseless, or absolutely irrational, its massing of supposed data and its attempted coherence approximate more highly to organization and consistency than did the ancient speculations that preceded it, or that Columbus never proved that the Earth is round. Shadow of the Earth on the Moon. No one has ever seen it in its entirety. The Earth's shadow is much larger than the Moon. If the periphery of the shadow is curved, but the convex moon, a straight-edged object will cast a curved shadow upon the surface that is convex. All the other so-called proofs may be taken up in the same way. It was impossible for Columbus to prove that the Earth is round. It was not required. Only that with a higher seeming of positiveness than that of his opponents, he should attempt. The thing to do, in 1492, was nevertheless to accept that beyond Europe, to the west, were other lands. I offer for acceptance, as something concordant with the spirit of this first quarter of the 20th century, the expression that beyond this earth are other lands, from which come things as, from America, float things to Europe. 